so this is the Sony ZV-E1 and it is like, yo, it is light, like, what? <laughs> This is it. This is Sony's brand new Sony ZV-E1. Sony's brand new vlog beast. And wow, it is light. That was the first thing I noticed. It's a little bit bigger than I thought, but it is definitely on the light side. Full disclosure, Sony did not send me this. I bought this with my own monies and I will be shooting in 4K 30. I'm gonna put the wind muff on. So we're gonna use the internal mic and I'm gonna use the Tamron 17 to 28 mil lens. And then also I will not be setting the camera up. I just wanna go out, press record and just see how it feels. Maybe adjust some things along the way, but for the most part, I ain't setting up nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and do a first impression video. Nothing super technical. We just gonna test out a couple of things, see how it feels, see how it vlogs. Like we gonna be out hugging the block. And we're just gonna be trying to figure out, is it worth the hype? And mainly, most importantly, does it bring the sauce? All right, we are officially on the brand new Sony ZV-E1. So everything that you are seeing from now to the end of the video will be shot on the new Sony ZV-E1. And the first thing that you notice is just how light this thing is. Like, holy cow, like, I'm not struggling at all. I even, I even turned off stabilization because it felt so light. And now since we are using the Sony ZV-E1, I went ahead and threw on the 17 to 28 Tamron lens just because the Tamron lens is also small, light, and it looks like the quality out of the lens is solid. That big old 16 to 35 lens that Sony makes, it's it, it, it's a bit heavy. And now something to also note is that we are using the internal mic. I just put the wind muff thing on it. Ah, something in my eye, what is going on, man? But yeah, Pippin, everything that you are listening to is coming from the internal mic. I actually have my external mic right here. So not only pay attention to how it looks, but let me know how it sounds too as well. And actually, before we even get into it, I gotta give a huge shout out to today's coffee sponsor. And that is Big Pimpin' Keith Wish. Thank you so much for the coffee. And Pippin, if you wanna buy me a coffee, don't be shy, the link is down below. But if not, no tea, no shade, cause I ain't a hater, and my hood'll never let me be a hater. <laughs> now let's get into the Sony ZV-E1. <laughs> Oh, snap, Ryan Dirty. And now, the first thing I noticed had to be the actual build quality because when the camera came out, I thought, like, it just kind of looked a bit cheap. But the moment I opened it up and, like, held it and, like, like really, like, used it from the buttons to the screen, I can wholeheartedly say that it, did, it, it doesn't feel as cheap as I thought. Like, it actually feels, like, really well made, except for, like, the wind muff. The wind muff seems a little different. Like, I think the Sony DV-1's wind muff is a bit better. Man, I don't know what they were doing with with this thing <laughs> jeez but yeah in my opinion it's it doesn't feel cheap and i'm just being real when i compare it to the sony a7s3 and the zv1 yeah it doesn't it feels like it fits like a little bit more towards the sony a7s3 style but has the plastic similar to the Sony ZV-1. Cause Sony ZV-1 doesn't really feel cheap either. The next thing I noticed was the weight because let's be real, like you can't help but not notice it after carrying like the Sony ZV-1 for like years. <laughs> like it's just so hard not to realize how heavy these full frame cameras are after using the Sony ZV-1. Like, seriously, Pimpin, like it feels lighter than a feather. Like it's just so light. <laughs> like the Joby Gorilla Pot that I'm using to hold this thing up feels heavier. Both. <laughs> the next thing I noticed while using the Sony ZV-E1 is the simplicity of the camera, which is an amazing thing. Like everything is just so well laid out, so easy to use. Anyone who doesn't have any camera experience could figure out how to use this camera. Like it legit reminds me of the Sony ZV-1. Like it is unreal. I just I'm just so shocked because you gotta remember with this camera, you're getting a Sony a7S III and an FX3 and a Sony a7 V. You're getting that kind of all built into this small, simple, easy to use camera. And also Pimpin, it could be just me because I've been hugging a block with the Sony a7S III for so long, but it just, it, it's just so simple. Like I just, Wow, it, it just really, really reminds me of the Sony ZV-1. All right, now something to note is that I have not been recording with no stabilization on, only because, again, it is super light and I'm so used to holding the Sony a7S III. So I think we should though, I think we should do a stabilization test. <laughs> so now, this is no stabilization and then this is 
active stabilization. So let's do a stabilization test in active first and then hit up the brand new active dynamic, wait, dynamic active stabilization. Yeah, that, that's what it's called. Okay, stabilization test. Pimping how we looking. This is active stabilization. <laughs> I'm bending this corner. How we looking, Pimpin? I'm going quick. I'm going quick. <laughs> Bugs, man. Okay, so now this is active and we're going over to active dynamic. If I can get the buttons right. Boom. Oh, you can't do it while we're recording. Dang it. Hold on. Okay. And now we're in active dynamic. So now round two. Oh, snap. Man, look at the lighting. Oh, man, that lighting. Second round of stabilization test. Running Sony ZV-E1. <laughs> active dynamic super stabilization. <laughs> I don't know. The camera's shaking like crazy though. <laughs> man. <laughs> that jogging man. Stabilization test. <laughs> All right, something else I noticed had to be the zoom. I, I, the, the optical zoom is amazing. <laughs> like it's really good. Like Pimpin, it honestly feels like you're not losing any image quality when you use the zoom. And it, like it is good. Like it's really good. All right, so now here we are at 17 mil. And look at how clear it looks when I zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in halfway. That's halfway, right? Look how clear it looks. Now, all the way, and look at that. Like, look at the image quality. Now, I'm gonna tell you why this is a big deal for me. I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. Hold, hold on, let me make sure I don't step in no dog. And now, the reason why this is a big deal for me, and a lot of people seem to like miss this in reviews, is for the simple fact that when you're zooming in, the, zip, the zoom works so well that it's almost like you have two separate lenses on. Cause like I said, I had the 17 to 28 mil lens, but when I zoom in to 28, right? Say if I wanna punch in a little bit more, right? Boom, now I'm sitting at almost, that's almost maybe 30, maybe a 40 mil lens, boss. And now this feature, this zoom is probably the most exciting thing about the camera to me. Oh, that my eyes. But yeah, my ninjas, this is probably the most impressive thing about the camera to me, only because it gives me more options of getting my B-roll shots and just shots that I really and always want to get. Like, woo -hoo -hoo. All right, now watch. Watch the zoom. Like, my ni come on. G tell me that ain't gangsta. Like, for real. C come on. So, Pimpin, not only are you getting an extra lens basically for free, but also you're not losing autofocus or auto tracking or like tap, you tap to focus. You're not losing None of that like you're doing a Sony A7S III. Like, I, you know, I, I, I'm getting a little upset. <laughs> like, man, for real, how crazy is that? I'm like shocked that no one really talked about this. Like, no one mentioned this. Send me a drink. Dang, everybody out today, it is gorgeous. Like, look how nice it is outside. And now something else I've noticed like right away as well is that the touchscreen is like a full on touchscreen. And with the Sony A7S III, it is not a full touchscreen. It's a touchscreen, but it's not a full touchscreen. Like it's not a full functional touchscreen. I mean, you can swipe right, you can swipe left, you can like touch things. So you can use the touchscreen like a real touchscreen, not just for, you know, tracking something. Man, I'm so tired of saying it, but that's boss. All right, and then the last thing I noticed had to be the autofocus. Holy cow, like they were not, like y'all, like, <laughs> pam. Look, my ninjas, I'ma be real. The autofocus is much better. <laughs> and I can't even say it. The autofocus is better than the Sony A7S III, okay? Like, I said it, okay? I said it. And I, okay, and like, be real, like, I am, I am feeling a bit salty, man. I'm, I like, oh, how did they, oh. Oh man, over.
overall, the camera is solid. It feels great. It, it's built well. It's so light, which is like insane. The image quality, pamp it, it's, it's solid. I mean, again, Sony a7S III. I mean, the autofocus is amazing. The stabilization works, but I'm not really interested in it because, I mean, I'm just so used to using Sony a7S III. But then, to top it all off, the fact that you're getting basically a free extra lens with the camera is, I, I think that is by far my favorite feature. Now again, Pippin, this was not a heavy tech review. It was just my first impressions with the Sony ZV-E1. And I gotta say, it it is solid. The battery life is also not bad, but I did notice that it seems like right now it's at 32%. I started off at 100% filming for on and off maybe two hours. And yeah, it's at 30%. Usually I think the Sony A7S III's battery life is a little bit better. I mean, just, just from what I've noticed. But yeah, the camera is, it's, it's so fun to use. I mean, just because it's so light and small. And it's the Sony A7S III. Like, I can't get over it. It's like the soul. It's like... No, it's like the body of the Sony ZV-1 with the soul of the Sony A7S III. The best video camera, the king of video. It has the soul of the king of video. And that's amazing. Like, it, it is such a good camera. Like, I, wow. I mean, there are some things I have noticed, but we're gonna talk about that in another video. Well, that is it, Pippin. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Huge shout out to today's coffee sponsor. And if you want to buy me a coffee, don't be shy. The link is down below. But if not, no tea, no shade, Pippin, because I ain't a hater. My hood never let me be a hater. And also, a quick side note again, don't rush out to go buy this thing. For me, it's different. I I got a chance. Like, I, I do reviews, so I got kind of got to get it. But also, yeah, just... Just remember, don't rush out to buy anything because y'all are some bosses. You are the trip. Like, there's no denying it that the Sony ZV-1 is a great camera, but I was just giving you my personal experience with it. So, yeah, it, it is really, really a solid vlog camera. But thanks again for watching, Pippin, and I will see you in the next one. Hopefully more of a uh, technical thing because I do have some other things to say about it. There are some... Some weird things too as well. I mean, not weird, but you, you know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I'll save it for the next one. <laughs>